Good morning. Um, I forgot that um, I told you guys to create a welcome basket and I didn't tell you about the welcome basket or what to put in there. Um, I'm gonna try to run through it really quick so you can have this for your records. So this is the coffee I told you guys about. And then my local coffee shop is Momentum. I buy one of these, um, probably like, this is from October. So like every couple of months, it lasts a pretty good amount of time. I get the whole beans and then I have them rounded. I have wet ones in here. Like I told you, a first aid kit, it's little. And typically I have to replenish it from time to time because I don't know what people are here doing, but <laughs> I do fill it up pretty regularly. I get mostly women in my Airbnb. So I have makeup wipes. And then this is um, Espresso. Can you see the Espresso machine? It's right there. Right there. Yep. So um, I do keep Espresso here. And then I have a lot of coffee. I, I, I'm not a coffee drinker, but for some reason I do keep a lot of coffee in here. So I have this too. And remember I told y'all the Starbucks every six months. Now you see, this literally, I got it from TJ Maxx for $10 and it only fills up to like right here. So no one ever drinks it. But my one that I have from down the street, less than two months is down here. So people really do like it when you put local stuff in there. I have a big bottle of lotion. Again, another makeup wipe. This, I have little bottles of shampoo, so some people use big ones. I use little ones, and I have the refills. And then coffee creamer, two different types. People just use whatever they want. Um, a different type of shampoo, just if people don't want Tresemme, they can use Garnier. And this is something you have to watch. So I always put deodorant in here, but a couple of times I didn't check. And so, you know, you have this in here, right? they will take it off and use it and stick it back in the basket. I don't know why that's a thing, but the people do it. Toothbrushes, okay? And then I give them hand sanitizer. I used to give them masks, but frankly, the cost of masks went from like five or six dollars a container to over, it was like 15 or 16 dollars. So I was like, I'm not doing it anymore. It's too expensive. Um, I told you about the dollar, oh no, so welcome basket. The people who are coming in today, it's the mom's, or the grandma's birthday. So it's a mom, a daughter, and a, a son. Well, it's always nice to do a little something. And I don't really buy gifts because I like little toys and stuff because I never know, um, frankly, what the child may like or if the parents will want them to have it. So I buy little fruit snacks. And then I got some, these are Dunkaroos. And usually what I'll do is for the like the special stuff that I don't normally uh, put in there. I put it right out in front, and it's the mom's, but the grandma's birthday, which is why they're coming to Chicago. I got them some face mask, and in my I have a card, and in the card I'll put something like "Happy birthday." Here's some masks to help you relax after your long trip because they're coming in from Florida. So it's a small thing that I did that cost me, you know. 125, 125, 125, you know, times two. So six bucks. And it may not may not seem like a big deal, but people really do appreciate the welcome basket. And I always get positive feedback from folks um, from the welcome basket. I like Dollar Tree a lot. So I buy just a little laundry detergent. This is not the welcome basket. This is the stuff that I stock. And I want to show you the kind of things you can get from Dollar Tree. This says six loads. Everybody who comes to the Airbnb doesn't wash. And I know we talked a lot about like inventory and keeping up with what you have in your Airbnb. This may not work for you. You may need to get a big one because you're constantly having to replace it. I'll put this in here. It's December. Maybe the end of January I'll have to replace it. More than likely, my cleaning lady will use this up before the people who come to the Airbnb will. Um, and I said this before, I'll say it again, always change the sponge when people leave. A dirty sponge is, is gross. So please, if you, well you have to put a sponge in the wash dishes, 
A lot of times people's Airbnbs are nasty because they don't let people clean up behind themselves. So this sponge that's fresh and clean and they can see it, people will wash their own dishes. I do have a dishwasher. For some reason, people just wash the dishes. They never ever um, use a dishwasher. Or if they do, they just load it and leave it. And I'm okay with that. Um, if you can't get to Target. So these were $125 from Dollar Tree. And this was like... 150 from Target. I always include the toothbrush toothpaste combo. I guess you could do it separate, but it's more expensive. And you can buy these in bulk. I just don't because I don't have the storage for it. So that's something to consider. If I had a place to put 50 toothbrushes, I probably would buy them, but I just don't have the storage. So this works out okay for me. And this is probably the thing that gets used the most. So in the summertime, it was shampoo. But now I guess because it's winter, people don't wash their hair as much. Um, toothbrushes. Every time I put these in here, they're gone. Because it's the easiest thing to forget. What else did I buy? Oh. And because some people don't like scented deodorant, I usually do one just kind of, like, this one is more feminine. So this one is sweet pea and violet. And then this one is fresh. So this is, I would imagine, is more gender neutral because the fresh kind of smells like soap. Yeah, it just smells like soap. So, I usually put one of each. People can decide what they want to use. Um, oh. What else do I have? Oh, I put toothpicks in. You don't have to, but I've noticed that here people do cook. So, um, you know, sometimes you get a little something in your teeth. It's just a nice thing. Um, I try to, as best I can, create comfort. Not expensive comfort, right? Like, the house itself is comfortable, but little add-ons, things like toothpicks, people appreciate. Um, and then, my last people broke all my glasses. I think I told you guys about that. That was the marijuana. Yeah, they broke all the glasses. So, I went to Dollar Tree and I bought these. And these were $1.25, they're a nice size. And this is what I had before. So, they look different, but they're complimentary. And somebody told me this is a beer glass. I don't, I think if somebody wants water, they'll happily drink from it. So that's what I have from them. And again, I don't have a problem with buying dishes from Dollar Tree because it's not like it's for personal use. And if they break it, because it is a Dollar Tree and not like a specialty glass, I can just go grab more. Um, what else do I have here? Oh, and even though this is from Dollar Tree, this is really powerful. So this is like their Febreze, I like it. I used to use regular Febreze, but for the Airbnb, I like it. I don't have any complaints, it's not better or worse, it's comparable. And I like for things to smell clean, and that's a preference thing. So some people like florals and overwhelming scents. I just wanted to smell like somebody came in here and cleaned. And because I had the people who smoked the weed in the house the last time, the cleaner did wash the carpet. She vacuumed. I had her come back and um, clean the carpet a second time just to make sure. Now, though, they check in today at 10. I'm just going to go ahead and spray down the mattress. is really good with this just because, for me, I wouldn't want to lay in a bed that smells like smoke. It doesn't smell like smoke, but because the linens are clean and everything, I just still like to take it up a notch. And then, what else do I have in here? I like this. I know that Fabuloso is quite controversial, but my cleaning lady um, uses it. This is the antibacterial one. It has a strong lemon smell, but it cleans really good. So if you're trying to budget and make sure you have what you need without spending a bunch of money, these are great dollar store products. And then what else do I have? More Fabuloso because it was time to re-up. So I just try to keep as much as I can. And I also bought this. I've never used this, so I can't speak to the quality of extra, but I'm gonna try to let you know and I'll give you feedback. But I wanted to make sure I showed you that if you don't have a bunch of money and you're trying to figure out like, how do you do, like how do you cut costs or how do you make sure you have what you need without breaking the bank up front? Dollar Tree does it. And somewhere in one of these bags, I also have Dollar Tree makeup wipes. Let me tell y'all, they work really good. I was very skeptical um, 
yeah they're in one of the bags i was very skeptical when i first got them but i'm very happy that i decided to give them a try so what i'll do is i'm going to pack up the welcome basket and then i'll take a picture of it so you can see but essentially i put the toiletries and then the coffee stuff in here oh y'all can't see the basket duh this oh. hold on this is my welcome basket i got it on so it's not actually a basket but i like it i got it on clearance at ross i'm pretty sure is where i got it from yes you said fabulous so it's the go i love it some people don't like it but i do really enjoy it and like i said this basket was like under 10 bucks it's up to you you choose what you want but let me see if it'll let me turn my screen around oh that's a lot of my face okay so this aesthetic see it looks nice so there's a i have such a mess up here right now but there's a table runner right and so pretend all this stuff isn't here but the basket sits on top of the table runner like i said i'll take a picture and then you notice like most of my accents are gold just my cabinets those are my um my cups that i used to have from like that's me m is my mom michelle c is me d is my best friend and then l is my boyfriend um and i just love them here it's just fine and then i have a fruit basket in the summertime i put fruit in here but i stopped in october because like last winter nobody was um eating it so i was like i'm not gonna waste my money on something people don't want but i guess in the summertime people are more likely that is it for the basket i forgot to show you guys before and i was like well i told them i would tell them get you a welcome basket it doesn't have to be expensive like i told you this is first aid kit wet ones okay people like those you can get these from target i think this was like two dollars um lysol people just like to feel like it's clean and because of the pandemic in my mind because i have like things to help them uh, clean themselves, the house is clean. It just reinforces that I do know there's a pandemic. I'm doing everything I can to keep you safe. And they appreciate that. So let's start over. First aid kit, wet ones, Lysol. Um, I have mostly women, so I always do makeup wipes. Hand sanitizer, deodorant. Okay, so deodorant is a must have. You don't have to do this other stuff. You should have a first aid kit, but you don't have to have wet ones and makeup wipes. Lysol, I really think you should have, if not Lysol, some version of disinfectant spray because sometimes people go to the bathroom and they want to keep it a little bit fresh. Um, toothbrushes are a must. And so you decide, you can do Target, you can do Walmart, whatever. These are Dollar Tree. Um, just make sure you have toothbrushes, toothpaste, deodorant, shampoo, and I, I forgot, this is a mistake I made as a new host. I'm black. We don't wash our hair when we go out of town for the most part, especially not in Chicago where you're not going to be in the water. So I didn't have shampoo and I didn't have hair dryers. And so somebody was like, where's the shampoo? Where's the hair dryer? And I was like, oh, dang, it was a cultural thing. I owned it. I was like, hey, I'm so sorry. Like, in my culture, we don't wash our hair when we go out of town. But I'm on my way to the store right now. I got you. She was very friendly. She laughed. We talked about it. I was like, it was just like a, a thing. I didn't know. Um, and she, like I said, she was very nice to me about it. So shampoo and conditioner you have to have along with the hair dryer. My hair dryer, I'll take you guys in the bathroom and show you. And I just have two different types for no reason. I like options. So I like Tresemme, but somebody else told me that like Garnier Fructis is better. I don't have a dog in that fight. So I just put both in there. And... I got the big bottles and I just refill them. You can also just buy these. They're like $1.25 from $1.25.50 from Target. And these are like $1.25, $1.50 from Target too. Um, and people don't use them every time. So I go usually to Target or Dollar Tree once a month and it's fine. And for the most part, I'm going for toothbrushes and deodorant. <laughs> like the other stuff just kind of stays around. But definitely toothbrush and deodorant go. You don't need all this coffee, but I have 
Costa Rican coffee that I bought from TJ Maxx, that was $6. Starbucks coffee that no one drinks. The local coffee is the one I've replaced the most. I got this one, you can see um, October 5th. And I get the beans and it is fresh ground. People really like that. You don't have to do that. But make sure you get a coffee. And I guess I'd go out on a limb and say, maybe don't just get a Starbucks. Like try to get something that maybe they haven't had before and people will appreciate it. And I have an espresso machine. You don't need an espresso machine. I had one in my house because everybody in my life drinks espresso but me. So it just stayed here. And I also have this, which people really love. And you have to have coffee and coffee creamer. Very important. So I have this, which is vanilla, French vanilla. And then I have, this is hazelnut. And together they were like $5. I watch for sales. And so if I know it's going to be on sale, I usually use a sale and a coupon together. And it doesn't matter. I buy off-brand. People use it. I buy name-brand. People use it. They don't care. I think they care more about the coffee than they do about the creamer. And if they don't like either, then they don't use them. I've never had any feedback from that. And if you can do a little nice gift, fine. If you're doing it from a distance, don't worry about it. People don't expect gifts. They don't expect a welcome basket. But it's so nice to walk in and you're like, hey, there's an envelope with my name on it. Look at all this stuff I could have. And I expected them to take it. So if they took the coffee, I wouldn't care. Um, and I just like the deodorant and stuff like that. I'm okay with it. And I keep toothpicks. Oh, I forgot about this. So I'm trying something new. I got this from Dollar Tree. It's a syrup for the coffee. I'm not a coffee person again, but my friend told me that people really like these. And so I got hazelnut syrup to go on the coffee. A small thing. I'll let you know if people actually use it, but I think it's kind of cool. And they'll probably hazelnut it to death because I got hazelnut syrup and I got hazelnut creamer. And I use, like I said, I do use the small ones. It's up to you. You can get a big one. I don't think people care as long as they can wash their clothes if you have laundry. Please make sure if you have a laundry in your unit, you do have detergent and dryer sheets. So um, that's it as far as like what I have to put in here. I have to go back to my car. Oh, go back to my car and get some more stuff. But I wanted to, again, give you a tour too. So let's go see. Okay. All right. So this is my bedroom. And this is not my bedroom, but a bedroom. And you see how I told you, it's just like, it's simple. And this, we talked about putting TVs in the bedrooms. This is not um, a good wall to put a TV on. So the property manager asked me not to. The mirror is dirty. So the main reason why I'm here is, I need to fix my clothes. Um, is to clean this mirror because it's disgusting. This is a, a speaker that you can use, uh, a Bluetooth speaker. This is a hot spot because it's an old building. The internet, I've tried so many things. The internet doesn't carry from the living room in here. So I put a hot spot. This was, it's, the, it's $55 a month for the actual internet. But it's two, this thing right here was almost $200. So not cheap, but you don't want to have bad Wi-Fi. And y'all can see, she's cleaned the carpet twice. This is from my flood. But it looks bad on camera. It doesn't look bad in person. This is my bathroom. These are the showers. This is the shower door that um, got broken. It was shattered. It was everywhere. I was very stressed. Up here, here's my towel rack. There's also a towel rack right there. I keep tissue in here. This is where my towels go. And I actually need to finish bringing towels in here. So towels, toilet paper, and then that's bath for the baby. And I always keep wipes. No one's ever stolen them. There's Lysol down here. That's the squeegee to clean the shower. That's the brush for the shower. And then there's also a lotion in the bathroom. And this is a little touch. Again, you don't have to do this, but I do think it's nice. So Q-tips, cotton balls, makeup pads, um, 
people use them all the time. This is a soap. I had bought this at first and I just ended up finding this. So it actually looks, step back. See, it looks nice together. This is going in the garbage, it's empty. Um, this is my other bedroom. Can you see? I did this artwork. Remember I told you? This would be very boring without the art. And I actually did this myself. I went and got, um, what are those called? <sighs> Canvases from the Dollar Tree. So that's just brown paint, black paint, and canvases from the Dollar Tree. So it cost me one, two, three, four, five, six, eight dollars. And I just put it together. I saw something very similar for 40 bucks on SD. And I was like, oh no, <laughs> I could do that myself. So I did. Um, and I'm actually in the process of like swapping stuff out so you don't see blankets and stuff. But there is a throw blanket that, that, that is that color. Um, so that brown color that goes on this bed. Um, and in the winter time, it's a very thick knit, but it's in the room and I'm not getting ready to go in there and unpack all that stuff yet. And then I have like just a globe and then these curtains were like $15 from Burlington. Then this is my little bathroom. So, hold on one second. Same thing. This is a bookshelf from Target that was $20. So towels, um, toilet paper, and there's only three. So I'll put another one in here. And then Lysol, wipes, the broom is over there hiding. You know what that is. And then, let me step back. This is the bathtub with the same sliding door. And I wanted to give props to my cleaning lady because it's always so clean. But, and then let's see, it looks nice. So ignore all the mess because I bought in the laundry. Usually the cleaning lady does the laundry, but I told her I would do it this time because she has some family stuff going on. And theoretically, you'd walk in. So let's go back, right? So you'd walk in, and you'd be like, oh, it's so nice. And then you'd get right here, and there would be a welcome basket. But I'm in the process of doing everything. So um, if I can think of anything else, I'll probably hop on live real quick and add it. But as promised, that's my Airbnb. So have a great weekend, guys. Bye.